I can't talk about it because I don't want, I don't want one of these schmucks down here to do it. Yeah. I got to yeah. do it. You know what I'm saying? And, it, and my ideas rule. Jordan Zachard for Sci-Fi Wire here at New York Comic Con with Ed Piscor, an amazing award-winning comic book writer and artist. You are doing an incredible project. You're taking all of X-Men history, put it into one limited series. How do, you, how do you make that happen? It's a lot of editing. Like, the idea is to take, you know, decades worth of serialized monthly comics and turn it into a graphic novel with a beginning, middle, and ending. And, uh, you know, I've internalized the material for my entire life. So, I, you know, I tell a lot of people that this is a project that's 35 years in the making. Do you have to go back and read every single issue again? Yeah, I, re I read it for pleasure. Um, you know, people call it research, but I'm having a good time doing it. Um, you know, but I also want to have a productive existence, so a comic book is the manifestation of all that uh, playing around. And so how did this happen? You know, you, you won big awards with your last book, and you were a Marvel fan for life. They, they liked your style. How did it all go down? Well, I, I certainly grew up and cut my teeth on X-Men comics, for sure. Like, I don't think... Um, I think that, you know, when I first saw an X-Men comic, read it in, like, first grade, I saw the name Chris Claremont writer, uh, Dave Cockrum, penciler. It let me know that actual human beings make these things. So I always wanted to be a cartoonist, right? And um, I've been doing this comic called Hip Hop Family Tree over the past couple of years. That's what got me the awards. That's uh, what hit the New York Times bestseller list. That creates opportunity, you know? So I just was feeling full of myself one day and just tweeted this, this image of Wolverine jumping down at a Sentinel or something and just said, Marvel should let me make whatever kind of X-Men comic I want. And within an hour, the ball started rolling and I was talking with the editor and we were figuring out like what that would be. And if I'm doing work for hire, I'm only going to work on dream projects. So I told them this, this is what I want to do, you know, sort of take it or leave it in a way because then I would just, you know, keep doing my hip hop comic if I didn't get my way. I'm a, I'm a spoiled brat. <laughs> do they have, obviously, you know, they, they own the X-Men. They've been doing it for years. Do they have things they want you to hit? Do they have insight for you? It's really great. Um, my working relationship with, with Marvel so far up to this point, I laid out my idea. Um, they gave the go-ahead. They sent the contract. I was nervous about that. I actually didn't, didn't um, cash my paychecks for six months um, because I was getting nervous that like, if I sign this thing and I, get, and I actually get the money, are they going to change it at the last minute? I'm a paranoid dude. Um, but they just gave me the, the latitude to do everything I needed. And anything that they contributed was a big help to the project. So I have a great editor. Axel's great, the editor-in-chief. Um, so right now, I'm in a good place. Well, you know, this book, lots of characters. Is there one central character to this one? Well, um, not specifically, because this is an ensemble cast. It's about the X-Men at large, and, and all the people are but a component piece. But my one big contribution to uh, you know, the, Mar the Marvel mythos is that um, they have this character called Uwatu the Watcher. And they established him a long time ago, and he like, watches the entire universe. And also, whenever there's exposition in a Marvel comic, it appears in like a little yellow caption box. So my thing is, like, why not make Uwatu the Watcher be the story? Like, every time you see that yellow caption box, it's him talking. You know, so I, so I sort of kind of build that into the mythology and make him the narrator of this, this you know, sprawling, huge, long tale.